Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thanks for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Do you know where the hamburger is in AutoCAD? S stick with me and I'll tell you. I bet you're on the edge of your seat now. Okay, we're gonna, we're, today we're going to be talking about the status bar in AutoCAD. Uh, the status bar, just to make sure we're on the same page, that is this bar at the bottom of the screen, the bottom of the AutoCAD Join Editor. And we use it all the time, right? It's filled with great tools, but I find that most of us just work with it in its default setting, the way it is and was when you installed AutoCAD. You should be customizing it to meet the needs, to just have the tools on there that you're using. Because let's face it, there's a lot going on down there. Are you using all of those tools? Because if you are, I am so impressed. So this gives you a chance to uh, declutter AutoCAD a little bit and get rid of those tools you're not using so you don't accidentally select them, right? Helps you be a better shot as well. Okay, how are you gonna customize the status bar? By clicking on the hamburger in AutoCAD. Do you know where the hamburger is? <laughs> I didn't either, just so you know. I had to figure out what it was. That's the inside source, the AutoCAD product team. They call it the hamburger. And it's right down here in the lower right-hand corner, those three lines. And I guess if you squint, it looks like a bun and, and a piece of hamburger meat in the middle. So anyway, now you know. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you will see that all of those tools, all the tools that you could possibly put on the status bar show up, all right? This is where you're gonna go in and you're gonna turn off the ones you don't use, you're gonna turn on the ones that you do use. For example, I know a lot of AutoCAD veterans for sure love coordinates. So you might decide that you wanna have those on. You can see coordinates showed up right in the lower left-hand corner. All right, now maybe you aren't using, aren't doing any 3D. Well, I would turn off the 3D object snap you probably could turn off the dynamic UCS. You are just gonna go through here and select the tools that you use all the time. If it's a tool that you use just every once in a while, it's up to you whether or not you wanna keep it. For example, graphics performance. You probably set that once and just leave it. I might probably take that one off. Now, a couple of releases ago, when the hamburger was first introduced, the AutoCAD team accidentally left off lock UI and isolate objects. If you're an AutoCAD 2016 or higher, not that there is a higher right now, but you will find that those were put back in, which is good, especially isolate objects, because if somebody isolated objects in your drawing, it would be nice for you to be able to tell that, right? All right, so set it up the way that you work so you can be more efficient. And now you know what the hamburger is inside of AutoCAD. Ask your coworkers. I bet they don't know where the hamburger is. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you back here in two more weeks.